keeps me on the road on days like this is cack handed filtering and bus lanes. Hello, hello. It's commute time again. Fucking finally. Uh, I was on the car for most of last year, or most of last week, even. Uh, and most of last year. Um, but I'm back on today. The wind has kind of died down a bit. Uh, it's to be a bit blowy closer to Dublin, but out here it's actually fine. There's not a bother on it. So today I'm talking about being a horrible bottler. As in, what makes you lose your bottle, keep the bike at home, take the car or the bus or whatever your alternate form of transport is. This was based off of last week, uh, or a couple of weeks ago now at this point, where it was icy out and you know, fuck ice, as I've said previously. Um, and after I kind of, you know, the ice cleared up and it cleared right up, it got right back up into double digits Celsius again. I was like, you know, okay, nothing's keeping me off the bike now. I'm kind of uh, good to go now. But like a bit of it puts a bit of rain and a bit of wind into perspective. And of course, the first thing that happened is there was a bit of wind, <laughs> and by a bit of wind, I mean a lot of wind, as in trees down, you know, people losing and running themselves. So for a lot of last week. The bike stayed at home as well which was frustrating to no end and uh, there was this kind of you know I like riding the bike in it saves me a lot of time etc but I have to weigh it up against you know am I going to bend the fucking thing am I going to end up in a ditch or get blown into the path of a bus or something you know the things you worry about and I guess it got me thinking, like, is it a, is it an experience thing, or is it a uh, just whether or not you have to bottle for it kind of thing? Uh, I know certainly since I started out on the bike being fairly new, is that, yeah, I mean, your confidence builds up and your uh, courage, for want of a better word, builds up. You're going to go out when it's a bit wet or a bit windy or a bit, you know, whatever adverse uh, conditions there are. But you know, is there a limit after which, um, you know, you just won't, no matter what the, the level of experience, uh, and is that, is that your actual limit? You know, and that's what I was thinking last week is, I could probably go out and I'll probably be grand 99.99% of the time, but uh, do you actually know your limit? And I honestly think, starting out, uh, you do to a painful degree, you do in the opposite sort of way where you probably be grand but you don't go anyway because you don't want uh, to mess with your confidence in that. And I think that's why I, you know, or I aspire at least to be an all year round rider, is that I want to push the, uh, the sort of conditions I'll go out in. And you really want to put yourself into the position of having to deal with conditions that mightn't be ideal. I sort of looked at lads and says you, especially lads on BMWs, <laughs> um, that put the bike away for three or four months out of the year. And I'm sort of like, what's the point? You know, because if you're out, even in the height of summer, and you run into rain and high winds and everything like that, and you're not used to it, and you haven't dealt with it before, you know, what's what's the point like I mean you sort of if you're only ever trying to go out in certain conditions you're gonna find yourself caught in worse conditions occasionally and it's then when you want your sort of muscle memory and skills to kick in so I think well to an extent you know looking outside or looking at the weather forecast and sort of saying oh no I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna bottle it you know that's all right and that's you knowing your limits and especially when you're starting out you want to be putting yourself in situations that improve your confidence rather than disimprove it or, or worse still uh, get you in some sort of trouble you do want to push it a bit I think now that said <laughs> last week was 
I think I think as the as the Scots put it, blowy as fuck. So I said, you know what, I will bring the car in and by Thursday I was going to be a bit nuts because I don't know about you but commuting into town has gotten to be a bit ridiculous in the car like literally an hour and a half every day guaranteed at least which uh, puts in a bit of a foul humour by the end of the week when you know if it just was not quite as windy that you'd be out on the bike and you'd be in in 45 minutes or thereabouts and there wouldn't be bother on you also pull off little stunts like this yeah